Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the sieve stitch, which is the pattern that you see here in front of you. Uh, this pattern has a very subtle texture. Uh, it's a fairly strong, robust fabric uh, when it's completed, which is nice. And it just features these little eyelets here. As you're working it, it has a similar feel to working that of the um, linen stitch or moss stitch so it's quite easy quite fun to work it's a great stitch for beginners uh, and has enough diversity for uh, those more experienced crocheters as well I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in a project or if you've used this stitch before feel free to leave a note there in the comments I love reading them while you're here I also invite you to subscribe to my channel it's updated weekly with uh, crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as this one. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and there will be links in the description of this video for both of those items. Also in the description of the video you will find a direct link to the written and photo tutorial for this crochet sieve stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's uh, grab our hooks and our yarn and get started. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and then working a foundation chain. And your foundation chain is going to need an even number of stitches. So today I'm going to begin by chaining a total of 22 stitches. There's 10. There's 20, 21, and 22. So you're going to want any even multiple any uh, multiple of two stitches for your chain. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one. And you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two. A single crochet into that second chain from your hook and in each chain all the way across. You'll notice that I do crochet into the back bumps of my stitches. I get asked all the time. Uh, it is not necessary for this stitch. I simply work in the back bumps of my chain uh, because I like the finished edge on the other side. So that's why I work in my back bumps. Uh, if you prefer to work in uh, one of the other loops, that is okay as well. So we're just working a single crochet stitch in each chain all the way across. At the end of row one you will have worked a row of single crochet stitches. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row two you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch. So into the stitch at the base of your foundation chain. Work a single crochet stitch. Chain one skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the next. Repeat that, chain one, skip one, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to do that all the way across where you will work your final single crochet into that final stitch. So single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next stitch. This is my final stitch right here, just like so. And that's what your work should look like by the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to skip the first single crochet and into the next chain one space, work 
two single crochet stitches. So skip that first single crochet into the next chain one space, work two single crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that. Skip the next single crochet into the next chain one stitch, work two single crochets. And you're going to continue that working two single crochets in each chain one space all the way across to the end of your row. I'm just working my final two single crochets in my chain one space. You're going to have one stitch left over you're going to work one single crochet into that final single crochet stitch. And that is what your work should look like by the end of row three. And that's it as far as the pattern repeat is concerned. For the rest of the pattern you're going to simply repeat rows two and three. So chain one, turn your work. Your row two begin with a single crochet stitch in the first stitch, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. That's your row two and then your row three was the two single crochet stitches in each chain one space. So that's it for working this sieve stitch. Thank you so much for joining me for this uh, free tutorial on how to work the sieve stitch. Once again I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another free stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye!